Hey fellas, it's Kevin coming at you from the uh, North Hosanna model shop. Over, hope everybody's doing <coughs> very well. I, I've <laughs> I've been behind on making uh, some videos, and the last one was uh, uh, my cancer awareness video that uh, that I did, showing you all the Cadillac we're going to build, starting October first in uh, Roadhogs cancer awareness bill but i told you i had some i was behind on videos and i had some um, kits that i had finished in the last oh couple of oh three or four months that i had not made a video on and, and some of these i intended to do as i was building them and and, and i want to start doing that i've got a couple i'm just to start that i want to kind of take you all along on from start to finish but anyway these are finished Couple of them pretty decent, couple of them not, <laughs> and I'll show you the ones that uh, uh, actually probably one that I wouldn't that I, I had some really problems with. But anyway, let's get started here, and I'll show you the old um, '66 Chevy Impala. Um, I believe this is a Revell kit. If I, it's this this one's been about three months being finished. Now. But I did not use the bare metal foil. Me and bare metal foil have um, kind of have an agreement. We've agreed uh, that we both hate each other. <laughs> so I use the Sharpie marker, the you know the silver or metallic Sharpie marker, and it's fair. It's not good, but it's it's kind of served the purpose, I guess. But my mom, this is the one I told y'all, my mom had a car just like this, except hers had a black vinyl top on it. And um, so it was neat building this. I used the uh, Duplicolor Wimbledon White. It's actually a Ford color on this car. But uh, that was the closest I could find to kind of the creamy off-white that, that, that these cars were. But... Um, uh, it's dark in there, but pretty good de detailing on the inside. And of course, I'm not up to wiring any key, any any motors and plumbing them right now, but any engines. But I, I'm going to get there one day. I'm, but I, this one is not. I mean, this is strictly box stock. It's a Chevy 396. But this kit came with air conditioned hoses, air conditioned compressor. It was pretty neat. Uh, Pretty neat little kit on there, but uh, my mom's car had a, um, didn't have the 396, it had the 327 as well as I remember, but anywho, this is, uh, proud of this little kit here, and I'm having some issues, and I don't know if y'all can tell it right there, but I'm getting some squattiness in the rear ends on some of these, if anybody knows uh, any trick, I, I, it's a couple of them I'm, I'm a little disappointed on the stance on them. Uh, a little bit more squat in the rear end than than uh, than should have. All right, the second one coming up was part of the uh, Chip Foose lineup, 68 Firebird. And uh, this is another kit I'm proud of. Uh, I painted this in that, uh, oh shoot, it's the uh, Tester's One Coat Lacquer Blazing Black, I think. It's got a little bit of sparkle in the paint. It's hard to see right there, but uh, this kit was absolutely fun to build. And I made a mistake when I was down in Lafayette. They had this car on a closeout at Hobby Lobby. I don't know, $12, $14, and I wished I'd have bought it because I'd have liked to have done one like a cherry red, identical to this one, except cherry red. But I may mess around and buy one online. They're still available. I got it old hood propped up with a <laughs> with a toothpick. But uh, this come with Pontiac 400 in it. And that was a strong engine back in its day. Surely was. And I mixed up that Pontiac blue myself. And I don't know if I could ever get it again. But it's... Um, I couldn't find anything close to it, so I just did my own. But uh, again, the inside's detailed, but black interior is, is tough to tough to see. And 
I got to get some license plates on that thing. I, license plate decals on it, but we'll do that. I had forgotten I'd done, had not done that, but uh, all right. Now this is one that I'm that I had some issues with, and I'm not going to open the hood because it's it's just. It's just, um, I don't know if I get it back on, but this is the 66, um, shoot, uh, Lindbergh Chevelle. And, uh, I really had high hopes for this kid. It was a pretty fun little build and until, um, oh, and I, I had some paint issues with this and that was strictly my fault. I started out with a duplicolor kind of a silver blue, and it, it just ran like water when I went to spray it out of it. I don't know if any of y'all had that problem, but it just liked to run this body on it, and uh, had to do a lot of sanding, and and um, then I came back with this uh, Tester's One Shot Lacquer uh, Mystic Maroon, and it uh, had a couple of runs in it. This kit just was had problems from the get, from the get-go. So it, it's got some pits in the body and I'm not happy with that. But I got down there to the end and it had some fitment issues on the, on the front bumper uh, grill. And um, that stems from a cross member across the uh, front and just the frame, just the body in general because the, that's, that's where the hood fitment's coming in and uh just didn't work out good i think there were some body issues on this car fun build until i got up right to the end trying to put that front bumper on there and a grill and i've got a little speck in the paint there that like i say this paint didn't come out worth a hoot all right and this last one is a 67 also from the foos lineup the 67 dodge cornet and I painted this in uh, the uh, Tester's One Shot Lacquer, uh, the root beer. And I did this because I, I kind of went back to, I got online, I think it's myclassiccars.com, gives a, uh, the original colors. And they had one kind of a dark color like this, and this, I don't know, it, it, it was a little darker than I had hoped, but... It's very close to what the original was, and I try to stay original on the paints as as, mo, as original as I can. But uh, there again, we got black interior, so it's hard to see the detail on the inside of this kit. But I did do it, and this was a fun build too. Those little foos builds have been good. Of course, they're just repops of some earlier kits. Now this thing's got the uh, 426 Hemi in it, very limited edition engine. Built box stock, uh, and I went ahead with the uh, sports tires and wheels on it rather than put the factory look on it. I just kind of want to sport this one up a little bit. But uh, there she is. Well, folks, that's the um, that's the four that I've got finished. I'm working on a '78 uh, Ford pickup and. A, 68 uh, Camaro right now. Just got it painted and it's red and boy, that thing look good. And I'll get with y'all and show you it on another video. Uh, if it's gonna start my Impala lineup, I've started to pull out a 64 Impala from my stash. I'm gonna start an entire lineup of Impalas. And um, of course, I've almost got the log trailer finished to go on the Mac. So I'll be showing that too. Well, I've run a little over. It's going to take me a ton of time to download this thing, but I appreciate y'all stopping in. Thank you for um, watching. Y'all take care. Happy modeling, and as always, God bless y'all.